Okay, so my biggest print yet is not on that one. It's not on that one. It's 26 and a half hours on this bad boy. Now, I've been waiting to go home for a while. Because I set this up yesterday morning or whatever, and I just don't want to leave until it's done. I kind of wish I could just keep the tree supports, kind of like I did with with that guy. I'm just going to keep them like that. All right, two minutes. I'll be back. Okay. Says it's just about done, but I don't know. I'm not happy with that top. But I think that's it. Super cool. I don't know if I maxed out there at the top. It may have honestly. I may have done what I did with this guy. So I overprinted them and it stopped right there. So I may have done that. Now here's the bummer. This is a mask and try to get it off the plate here. These are called supports. See, it breaks right off. So you're supposed to break them all off. I'm debating taking off as little as possible so I can leave it like that. Let's see how that goes. So actually, I thought this was black and red. It says black and red, but it, it kind of looks bluish purple. But I'm going to try to leave the back supports on. Maybe. We'll see. These supports are super designed nice because, I mean, look at that. Come right off, nice and clean. I'm still new to this, so I'm trying to. First of all, it's not going to fit me this mask, and I might sell it. I don't know, but I think it might look a little cooler with the supports off. Now, here's the big deal, though: if someone buys it, they're probably going to rip the supports off anyway. So, yeah, let's just get the supports off. I mean, these come off so easy compared to some some of these models I've, I've been playing with. I'm wondering if I can just leave that center one. I just think it'd be kind of cool if it stood, stood on its own. I mean, it's a mask. You're supposed to wear it or whatever, but... debate if I can leave it. Let's get this face cleaned up a little. Hope you can see it. Okay, so I leave. Oh yeah, that's wild. I betcha I've got to be real careful. Now there's still some supports on the inside here. Sorry, come out of the camera. I want to get out just because I don't think they need to be there. And I'll probably end up damaging the center one. But if I can leave that center support in there, I mean, how cool would that be? It'll be a, a built in stand. Look at that. I need a little cleaning still, but really not much. I mean, very little cleaning altogether. I'm so scared I'm going to. I'm so scared I'm going to knock that out. That should be just as fragile. Oh, so we're going to leave that. should be just as fragile as the rest of these supports. They're made to easily come off when you're done building. All right, what do we got here? Some here in the nose. I just don't want to affect the centerpiece. I know I'm clumsy, though. Okay, right here. I'm so bad with this stuff, I don't even remember who this guy is. I, uh, I bought the file online. It was cheap. I thought it was cool. I wanted something with a devil, evil, uh, 
type of thing only because the filament I got is really cool. It goes from red to black, but I, like I said, it's almost like red, black, blue. It's, it's, it's only a dual color, but it, it kind of acts like a tri-color. But I mean, that's pretty wild, right? Again, need a little bit of cleaning to do. Now, I found some cool LEDs that I could stick in the lights and right in the eyes. And it'd be kind of cool to set this up. Maybe I'll put this on one of the mannequins, mannequins up in Bellinger Studios. But I just think after I clean it up, which will be probably this week, I mean, I've got a whole box of projects that I keep starting. And I just haven't had time to finish. I mean, we're just getting over Christmas now. Uh, it's not Christmas yet, but... Uh, we're pretty much done with majority of the Christmas gifts and presents and stuff, you know, with the lasers and whatnot. Um, it's my first helmet, my longest thing I've printed so far. I love it. Now, I've got three machines now. The X1C, the P1S, and now we've got the Mini. Uh, I'd like to buy some more, but I'd really like the way they all have the same build volume 256 by 256 by 256 i'd like to try to get one bigger so we'll see i'm gonna stay with what we got for now i'm super happy with this it used almost a whole kilogram of or whole kg or yeah whatever of material um most of it i mean look at this this is a, it's a lot of waste a lot of waste but i ordered two more rolls won't be here till after christmas though of the same color then i turned around and ordered a bunch more plus i've got a decent amount of stocking right now. Um, I want to focus on this kind of stuff. This is fun. I may, and on the next one, I may even put a permanent base on there or whatever. But I'm going to leave that on there. Boom. There she is. Not really a today at the shop, but a, uh, a quick one that took 26 and a half hours. Thanks for watching.